thousands of dollars worth of marijuana, other drugs, and even firearms seized by a Compton Illegal Dispensaries Task Force formed six months ago. So far, the task force shutting down nine illegal marijuana dispensaries in the city. The city has also filed lawsuits against 30 different defendants, including operators of unlicensed dispensaries, their landlords, and those providing financial support to the illegal businesses. No dispensaries are legal in Compton. The voters have voted against dispensaries in Compton in general, so there is no legal dispensaries in Compton. There's no way to get a legal dispensary in Compton. In 2018, Compton residents voting to keep pot dispensaries out of the city. This building, one of the illegal marijuana dispensaries shut down, this one and also this one, nine in total, the city believes there could be close to 100 illegal marijuana dispensaries operating in the city, and they plan to shut them all down, not only shut them down, but fence them off to ensure that they are not reopened. Who's running these illegal operations? I can't speak to that at this moment. Due to ongoing investigation, ongoing litigation. Compton doesn't have the infrastructure right now to uh, have legal marijuana dispensaries. Compton lawmakers saying the city is not prepared to deal with the amount of crime that comes with allowing pot dispensaries to operate. It's a huge safety issue. Um, we have plenty of reports of, again, robberies, murders, fights, uh, all happen at these dispensaries. And uh, obviously, since they're illegal, they're not paying taxes to the city. And it's just been a nuisance in our community. They're uh, cash ran business. A lot of times they're in impoverished neighborhoods and they're a target for violence. The task force is a joint effort between multiple city agencies.